Hey guys, sorry this is long overdue. I know I said I was going to do it probably about a week ago, maybe longer. Um, I've had a lot going on, so this is the first chance I've had. So I have this pro hydrogen peroxide applicator that I've made. Um, I use it to spot treat blackbeard algae. It's quite simple actually. I just use a squirt bottle, um, just a simple one that you can get at Home Depot, Walmart, those, wherever. I just took off the nozzle part and I unscrewed the actual nozzle. I guess this is the pump part. Unscrewed the nozzle and I used a drill bit that's one size smaller than the airline tubing. Maybe one or two little sizes depending on what size bits you have. Um, you just want it a little bit smaller than the airline tubing. So I drilled the hole in that nozzle when it was removed from the pump. Don't do it while it's on the pump because you don't want to damage the little part in there is basically like almost looks like a, a funnel sticking out backwards funnel and that's where the, the hose will rest into to create somewhat of a seal and it's just regular airline tubing and then attached to the airline tubing I have the the hard tubing it's the stuff that's used in the uh, underground filters and this makes it a lot easier to aim where you want to get it you don't have to stick your hand all the way down in the tank trying to get it to where you need to apply it. Um, this stuff is kind of hard to find nowadays, but it is out there. I do have some. I might be able to help a couple people out if they need it. Um, but this definitely makes it easier. So all you do is turn the filters off on the tank, reach just down there to where it needs to, you need a treat, and start squirting. And you'll be able to see the air bubbles kind of working their way down and going through and you'll see it blasting it. The blackbeard algae will kind of move when you're doing it. Uh, you can overdose, so just there's no way to really measure how much you're putting in. So just basically what I do is do sections of the tank at, the top, at a time, depending on how much there is. If there's just a little few spots that you just need to go do a little bit of touch-ups, then you could just do them all. But um, it is, I guess you can overdose, but you basically turns into oxygen as it mixes into the water. Um, I've actually had fish swim right into the spray as I was spraying and nothing happened to them. I'm sure it probably might burn their gills a little bit if they stayed in it and kept, but once you spray it, they take off anyway. So I'll go ahead and do some in here. I already have the, uh, the filters turned off and I'll show you how you apply it. Now keep in mind too, this does create a siphon, so if this is, the tip of this is below the level of the peroxide in the bottle, it, it will siphon out, and even if you have it in the water, if it's up higher, you can kind of see it slowly leaking out. So you kind of need to keep a balance of the, the height of the squirt bottle to the height of the tip of the applicator. So I'll go ahead and put some in here. I've actually already done it and I messed up the recording when I took it off the tripod to get a close up. I accidentally hit the power button and I don't feel like having to splice them together. So I'll go ahead and do a little bit here. Just put it in the water and this is where the uh, that hard extension comes in handy. If you can see you can just aim it where you want. If it was all the flexible tubing, just the airline tubing, you know it curls by itself and stuff and you'd have to have your hand all the way in there holding the hose where you want it. So you just put it where, where you want it and start squeezing just a little bit and you can see the plants and the algae, you can see it move around as you're spraying so you know it's coming out. And you can also see air bubbles come out of this as it's priming. So it's, it's pretty easy. And you just spray the blackbeard algae wherever it is. Now you do have to be careful. Um, I'm not sure if all of them, but I know Christmas moss and flame moss are both very sensitive to the peroxide and you don't really want to get it on them. Um, what else is? There's quite a few others, but the harder ones like java ferns, nubius, swords, stuff like that, they're they're pretty good about it. Just right where you need it. Quite simple. 
I said, I have had fish swim right into the, uh, the flow of it and nothing's happened to them. Shrimp, I've had shrimp as well swim into it, crawl into it. Keep a rubber band. Sorry, should have turned that off. Um, I keep a rubber band right here around the nozzle or the pump, and you just put the, the tube in it, and it will help pull it up. I'd have to snug it up like that. You have to keep the tip of the applicator above the uh, the level of the peroxide. If you don't, you go to store it, and the hose is laying on the floor or anywhere below it. It will drain out, and you'll have to clean it up later. So. Simple, easy. All right, now I'm going to try to take this off without turning off the camera. And you can see how this is working here. You can see the bubbles coming off of it. That's where I've sprayed the peroxide. Focus. This, this Anubius is just about dead. Had some up here on the wood. Just little bits. Quite a bit right here. Over here on the suction cup. Now I'll just let this sit for about 10 minutes and then turn the filter back on. And you will see the, the algae will wind up turning red at first and you know it's working, it's dying. And just wait maybe about two days and see where you're at. And I'm sure you're gonna find places you missed. And go back and do your little touch-ups. It works quite well, very easy, inexpensive. Peroxide is cheap, much cheaper than XL, Flourish XL. Very easy. I hope people can uh, benefit from this. I know I, I sure use it quite a bit. All right, good luck and let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to uh, send me a message. All right.